Good morning, Pencers. It's Tuesday. Let's see. Um, oh, Marie Bashkritzer. That's what I was going to do. Uh, I knew there was something that I had planned, sort of, for this week. Planned is maybe a little strong. So I read the first volume, I don't know, several videos ago now. Recently finished the second volume. Um, that's all there is, the two volumes, um, in this particular translation, which is, as far as I know, the most complete translation in English. There is, I understand, a um, like a complete, unabridged set of all of the volumes of Marie's diary um, in French, but um, my French is not good enough to read it. So uh, until it improves significantly or until somebody translates all of it into English, this is as good as I can do. Um, I should note here that the second volume, which is called Lust for Glory, does not appear to be available um, in hard copy. It only seems to be available in ebook. So um, I bought the Omnibus edition, which has both volume one and volume two in a single ebook edition, um, because I thought that would be easier. And I could have them both together in one thing, even though I have a copy of, like a hard copy of the first volume. I don't really know exactly what I, like why I am making another video about Marie Bashkirt stuff. Like, who cares? I mean, I read a lot of books. I don't know why I'm talking about this one in particular, but I guess it's just because I don't know, Marie is interesting. She's interesting to talk about um, and interesting to think about. And I talked about the first volume, and so now I sort of feel like I have to talk about the second volume just like for reasons of symmetry, like I need to like complete it. So Marie died at the age of 25 of tuberculosis. She'd been ill. Well, she'd been having symptoms um, since like her early teens, but she was surprisingly healthy mostly um, up until not like, I don't know, a couple years before she died. Um, and actually was still surprisingly healthy up until not very long before her death. Like she, once she sort of hit the downward slope, it went pretty quick. So the thing about Marie is that she's, like I said before, she's, you know, she's really self-absorbed and vain and, um, particularly up through her teens, she has a tendency to throw enormous temper tantrums when things don't go her way. Um, she's not always a very likable person, um, but she's she's interesting and in a way, like I don't want to condone bad behavior, but um, in a way like her her total confidence in herself and her her conviction of her own worth um, as a person and as an artist and as a whatever she wanted to do. Whoops, cat just almost fell off the stool. So she has this kind of confidence and like surety of her own value that is really, really refreshing in someone so young, in someone so, you know, female, um, and in someone so ill. And it makes for a really interesting diary. I found myself like thinking a lot about how interesting it would have been to see what she had done if she had lived because she was just starting to like get some momentum going. Um, she didn't start painting seriously um, until she was, I don't know, 20 or so, approximately, 19 or 20. She started training uh, seriously at the Julian Academy, which was the only place open to women at that point. But also she, it's interesting because once she started studying painting seriously, I, I feel like she kind of like settled and kind of in in a way mellowed a little bit like she was still Marie she was still like self-absorbed and vain and ambitious and you know still Marie but um she became kind of less insufferable and she I don't know she kind of like settled down into herself some as she became more ill, she became really aware of how quickly time was passing and the fact that she did not have a lot of time to do a lot of work. And it was really rough on her because she had so many things she wanted to produce and she didn't get to do all of them. She didn't get to do most of them. So I would have liked to have seen what she had done if she had had more time. Um, she was 
becoming more and more interested in sculpture toward the end of her life and she didn't really get a chance to do very much with that. But it's also interesting to think about the fact that if she hadn't had tuberculosis, she probably would not have become a painter or a visual artist to begin with because her original intent was to become a singer um, and her voice was ruined by her illness and she didn't start studying painting um, in a serious way until, you know, until it became clear that her voice was gone and not coming back. But it's interesting that um, there are only a few times in the diary where she talks about, like, maybe the diary will be the thing she's famous for. Like, she does assume that people will be very interested in her diary, but she thinks that people will be interested in the diary because she will be famous for something else. Um, and there are only a couple of times where she, like, talks about maybe I should have been a writer, you know, maybe I should have, like, written novels or something instead. I don't know. I, I enjoyed it a lot. It more than I would have expected, particularly considering that, like, I don't, I don't necessarily know that I would have, like, been friends with Marie. I enjoyed the time spent with her in the diary. So, I, I don't know. I, I enjoyed, I enjoyed it more than I would have expected to considering her personality, I guess. Um, not that she's a completely terrible person. I don't mean to make it sound like she's awful, but like she's just kind of hard to deal with sometimes. She's, she sometimes engages in a lot of bad behavior, um, particularly like in her teen years. Um, I don't know how to end this video. Like I don't really know exactly how to talk about Maria. I should plan out this video better on a lot of fronts, really. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I'm trying to say. I don't have any like overarching, um, you know, thing that I want to say about Marie as a person or as an artist or as a diarist or whatever. I think that's probably my problem here. Um, I maybe should have planned out something better. But basically, I just like reading stuff and I thought that Marie was interesting and so it was in my head because I have spent quite a while reading it. Um, so now I'm, I'm putting it out there because this is what I'm thinking about and that's how I make these videos. I just tell you whatever is going on in my brain. So yeah, this one was a good one. Um, so uh, I, I love you all a lot and I will see you next week. Don't forget to be awesome.